Ladies and gentlemen, we have exciting news. You are never gonna believe this, but after much anticipation and months of searching, the Waffle House has found its new host. Yeah, let's give them some applause. Give it up. This new hire has prompted the internet to explode with the news in comment sections across YouTube and TikTok. But just who is it? That, my friends, is what I aim to expose today. internet welcome to food theory where today we can meme as hard as the big boys all right so what exactly is going on here well if you've watched any of our YouTube videos over the last week or anyone else's YouTube videos over the last week or honestly any videos on any platform over the last week whether it be Instagram Twitter or TikTok, chances are that you've seen one phrase repeated over and over down in the comments the Waffle House has found its new host weird flex their Waffle House but uh good on you I suppose Glad Glad everyone's so excited for your new employee. But in all seriousness, here's the deal. The Waffle House host thing is the latest copy pasta to storm the internet. If you don't know what a copy pasta is, basically it's exactly what it sounds like. A block of text that's just copy and pasted by a bunch of people over and over again all across the internet. Do you know the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Or that Bob is building an army? Or that it takes a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty? Well, if you're aware of any of those things, then you know what a copy pasta is. And now Waffle House's new host is the latest addition to the roster. This one in particular started with content creator Johnny Razor. Let's crack a lack in gamers. The red plaid mad lad who's been popping off recently thanks to his cursed recipes, his playthrough of Sonic Frontiers. I got all of them. Look at me. Wow. And his honest review of the Iraq pizza party. It was a disaster. But it's his shorts that have really had an impact. Getting him 250,000 subs and 200 million views over the last four months alone. And it was here, in this little corner of the internet, where the Waffle House host me was born. Bad psyop idea. We are going to gaslight the entire internet and you're gonna help me. Write a singular comment on every video that we watch. I want you to come up with what that comment will be. The whole thing was supposed to launch on January 31st, but nope, the chat immediately knew what they wanted. I've created a monster and it's all your fault. The chat unanimously decided that it would be the Waffle House has found its new host. So with the phrase decided, the campaign was underway early. Fill in comment sections everywhere, prompting laughter, confusion, and confused laughter all across the Webiverse. The Waffle House has found its new host is a comment that you're likely seeing everywhere. That would be my fault. That's on me. Now, not sure if you've noticed, but this is a food channel. We're no strangers to restaurants. Waffle House, definitely fair territory here. However, this is also a theory channel. Dumb memes are our bread and butter. Heck, we are dumb memes personified. Welcome back to another game theory. After some research, I have concluded that the feather of my child is actually it's sand. <laughs> but hey, that that's just a theory. A game theory. So as the cringy meme lords that we are, I decided to lean in. I decided to take this stupid, empty copy pasta way too seriously by figuring out who exactly this mysterious new host might be. And funny enough, apparently great minds were thinking alike because Johnny himself, literally as I write this, uploaded the following video. Since this meme has gone so much further than I had ever anticipated, I thought it would be cool to turn it into something greater. So I want you guys to turn this from a comment trend to a full-on lore series. Oh boy, he said the thing. He said the thing! LORE! He dropped the magic word, guys. I have no choice now. It's out of my hands. I am legally obligated to do this. So let's do what the man said. Let's build on the lore of this thing. If Waffle House has indeed found its new host, who's that person gonna be? Today we're looking at the logistics of being a Waffle House host. What's that person responsible for? And who in popular fiction would be best prepared to handle the job? Is this episode dumb? Yes. Very dumb. Is this episode devoid of any meaning? You betcha! But a silly empty meme deserves itself a silly empty episode, which leads us here today. So, you asked for this one, internet, and I'm about to serve it up hot. Basically, jobs at Waffle House boil down to one of four major categories. Servers, cooks, managers, and of course, hosts. According to applications, a host's responsibilities include largely what you'd expect. Greeting people at the door, finding them a table, distributing menus, and managing the order of anyone waiting to be seated. Apparently, you also have to stock and maintain the self-service coffee bar, which didn't realize that Waffle House has had a self-service coffee bar, but now that I know that, I will still ignore it since I hate coffee. 
Anyway, that was basically everything that the job description listed. I checked different locations in different parts of the country, and all of it was pretty darn standardized. But we all know how real jobs go. Oh, sure, that's the job description from the man, from the top down, Mr. Big Waffle himself, you know? But I wanted to hear the story from the real people. Those down in the trenches, slip sliding on the Waffle House's unusually greasy floors. I needed to hear it from the few, the proud, the actual Waffle House hosts. The people who had walked so that we, we could fly. I wanted the real story from the real hosts, so I hopped onto various job review boards only to learn that my suspicions were largely correct. The reality of the role is different from what's listed on the website. According to online reviews of Waffle House's hosting gig, you're actually cross-trained to do everything. Not just seating customers and distributing menus, you're also cleaning the tables, taking and calling orders over to the kitchen, talking to people and cheering them up if they're having a bad day. The only thing they don't really ask you to do is cook. No reviews I saw of the host role ever mentioned having to man the grill in times of crisis. What they did mention, though, were the long hours. Waffle houses are open 24-7, 365, so working weird off hours and holidays comes with the territory. As one of the co-owners of Waffle House says himself, Well, it's three things, in my opinion, to make the rest of it. Good food, good service, and cleanliness, and we got all three of them. If you see a Waffle House, it's open. But that commitment to round-the-clock cheap eats has itself one major unintended consequence, bites. Being one of the only places open after the bars close lends itself to some particularly unpredictable and aggressive clientele. Meaning that the ideal host is someone comfortable either de-escalating heated situations or holding their own in a breakfast room brawl. That's not me making stuff up here either. The reviews of hosting duties actively called this out multiple times. Here's an example. Quote, if you're a host, don't do it, crackheads. Managers on Reddit have called out that they've seen plenty of fights over the years. Even Kid Rock and his posse infamously threw some fisticuffs at a Waffle House back in 2007. Waffle House is seeing more blows land than your typical YouTuber boxing match. And the reputation for fighting in the restaurant is infamous. Roy, I didn't come here for the fights. I came for the waffles. We even came for the waffles. Nobody goes to Waffle House for just the waffles. Violence is part of the experience. The authentic Waffle House experience is watching strangers punch each other in the face. You record it, you go viral. World Star! No joke, Waffle House videos are literally half of World Star Hip Hop's viral content. Anyway, long story short, you sign up for a job at the Waffle House, you gotta be prepared for fighting to be part of the game. Waffle Houses are nuts. You go in there, what? it's like the WWE. I've seen people punched out, I've seen stuff thrown back both ways. There's a lot of fights <laughs> at Waffle House, this is the point that I'm trying to make. There was even a meme circulating on Reddit three years ago of a fake Waffle House job application that asked interviewees to select their preferred fight fighting style. Can you fight? Because we all know that the first rule of Waffle House is that you don't talk about Waffle House. So, our ideal Waffle House host needs to be able to defend themselves as well as throw a solid counter punch if push comes to shove. But they can't defend themselves too well. You see, if you fight back too hard, you're gonna be allegedly blacklisted from the company. Case in point, at the top of the year, a video went viral that depicted a 2021 confrontation between the Waffle House staff and a group of intoxicated customers. I've heard of food fights before, but this, this is ridiculous. As you might imagine, the internet lost their collective mind over this anime-worthy defensive maneuver, prompting the employee, Halle Booth, to make the news circuit as celebrity for the day. How did you remain so calm? It kind of just all happened so fast. It was mainly just a pure rush of adrenaline and instinct that just kind of had me going. That said, if you watch the full video, Halle might have fought back a bit too aggressively, at least in Waffle House's eyes. Despite applauding her publicly for her reaction in the moment, when she tried to get a job at another Waffle House location, she was stonewalled. Also, here's a little diet theory from me, I suspect that this story is the actual true origin of the Waffle House new host meme. I know the phrase itself is meant to be utterly meaningless because it was suggested to Johnny Razor via the chat, but clearly at least one member of that chat created the phrase about a Waffle House employee out of their consciousness from somewhere. Considering the Waffle House chair deflection was one of the biggest stories on Twitter at the top of the year, I think, either intentionally or not, the meme that's circulating now was somehow birthed from this viral moment. But hey, that's just a theory, a mini theory theory, let's move on. Anyway, if you manage to survive your five fights at the Waffle House, you're rewarded with more than just a paycheck. Free food is the major perk that almost every employee cites in their review. As one reviewer put it, you will gain pounds. So, in summary, our ideal Waffle House host doesn't need a lot of
of professional training, but does need to be friendly, willing to talk to anyone, empathetic to those in need, and not carrying around a whole lot of ego. They need to appreciate good hearty comfort food, but they don't necessarily need to be the best chef. They need to be comfortable working any hour of the day, round the clock, even late night shifts. They need to be a generally chill person, but also a fighter when necessary. That said, they can't be too aggressive, otherwise they might risk getting blackballed from the position. And, while it's certainly not a hiring requirement, they're ideally the type of person to take advantage of free food. They're not gonna be turning down a big old stack of waffles and greasy hash browns. To get the most bang for their buck, we're gonna want someone who's able to consume a lot of calories without putting on a whole lot of extra weight. Which brings us back to the question and the meme that started it all. Who is our new host? Who fits all these criteria? Who is the person, fictional or otherwise, that's the single greatest fit for the hosting gig over at the Waffle House? Well, I poured over every fictional franchise I know. I scoured video games, movies, television. Early front runners quickly fell by the wayside. The Flash? Solid initial choice because of his speed and high metabolism, but he'd get bored in a hurry. Eleven from Stranger Things. She does love herself some waffles, but she's also terrible at talking to people. I even considered super obscure stuff like the chef from the ancient arcade game Burger Time. He's a chef, but again, remember, our host doesn't have to be a cook, and probably shouldn't be comfortable walking over the food with their feet. Anyway, after reviewing the roster, one choice became crystal clear. It is the undisputed correct answer for this very simple question. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Drum roll, please. All right, meme drum roll for a meme episode. It tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Shaggy from the Scooby-Doo franchise. Oh, you sit down, Velma. No one wants to hear from you or your terrible show anymore. It's not even like you're using Shaggy in your series, so don't pat yourself on the back too hard there, Velma. If you guys don't mind, I think I'll go look for clues to this mystery about the- uh -oh. Shh! Like, what did I say about ruining my fun? What did I say? What? That's a good Velma. Good Velma. Shh! So, while Shaggy isn't a prisoner of that awful show, he's gonna be the host at the local Waffle House. Let me prove to you in one single scene why Shaggy is the no-brainer choice for this one. Like, those guys aren't gonna get out of control, are they? <sighs> Little buddy, <laughs> this is gonna be <laughs> bad. This can go two ways, punk. One, you walk away. Two, I walk on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Is your lacrosse trophy all right, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Then my work here is done. That's right, one good meme deserves another. And in this case, Ultra Instinct Shaggy from the Scooby-Doo movie Legend of the Phantasaur is the obvious correct choice. You see, to try and cure Shaggy from his crippling fears, the gang decides to use hypnosis, so that when he hears the word bad, Shaggy literally becomes fearless. And it pays off big when a biker gang starts roughing up the local restaurant, giving Shaggy supersonic fighting abilities. But what does any of this have to do with him being a good Waffle House host? Well, I kind of think it's obvious, but let me just run you through the criteria point by point. Someone who isn't necessarily the best chef but loves good food and can put down tens of thousands of calories and junk food without adding an inch to their waistline? Check. Whoa, guys, oh. didn't you read the sign? Don't take more than you can eat. We read it. What's the problem? Wow, you can't possibly eat all... Never mind. Second scoop? Someone who's comfortable working at all hours of the day and night and holidays. Huge check considering that many of the Scooby-Doo mysteries go through the entire night and often happen on holidays. Someone who's comfortable talking to others? Shaggy would be a pro handling the needs of Waffle House's more elderly clientele. They love the guy. Huh? You can still swing by the trailer a little later on, shake it in my hand. I'll show you how I can open dog food cans with my fancy can opener tooth. And of course, we have the fighting. Notice how through the Ultra Instinct fight at the restaurant that he mostly relies on his opponent's momentum, he's ducking out of the way of punches. He's blocking and stepping rather than outright attacking. He's on the defensive, not the offensive. And that is how you deal with rowdy customers without getting blackballed from your hosting job. And speaking of getting blackballed, what was it that the Waffle House employee said again? How did you remain so calm? It was mainly just a pure rush of adrenaline and instinct that just kind of had me going. Instinct. It all 
all came down to Ultra Instinct. Oh, and also Matthew Lillard, who's played Shaggy for years, is gonna be playing Purple Guy in the upcoming FNAF movie. Completely unrelated, but just a cool fact that I thought I'd shove in here towards the end, because when else would I mention something like that? So, there you have it, the answer to the meme. Who is the mysterious new host at Waffle House? None other than Ultra Instinct Shaggy, a four-year-old meme that's now finding new life in YouTube shorts. After being ousted and ignored from the train wreck that is Velma, thankfully Shaggy decided to pursue a new career path, solo. And best of all, he'd only need 2% of his power to do the job. But hey, for as good as the hosts at Waffle House may be, sometimes you're just in the mood to eat at home. Sometimes you just want a meal that's healthier than a shredded hash brown that's been soaked in three full sticks of butter. Sometimes it's the top of a new year and you're trying to do better for both your body and your budget. Well, our sponsor, HelloFresh, is here to help you with all of that. They're also here to provide you with 21 free meals. You heard that right, 21. Yeah, let me just cut to the chase here. If you want a big old box of food full of 21 free meals delivered straight to your door with free shipping, just click the link below this video or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code FOODTHEORY21. Do that, and like magic, a box full of delicious free food is just gonna wind up at your doorstep. Here's the deal, HelloFresh is both cheaper and healthier than takeout or delivery. It's also faster. No joke, I actually ran the numbers. The closest restaurant to me is like a McDonald's that's five minutes down the road, but five minutes down plus five minutes back gives me 10 minutes. Plus there's an additional five minutes to find the car keys, my wallet, get my shoes on, then another five to get out of my pajamas, you know, put on clothes that won't be embarrassing when I get seen at the drive-thru. In total, that's about 20 minutes. And what do you get for that? A thin burger with lukewarm fries. You know what I can get in that same amount of time instead, thanks to HelloFresh? Their signature beef enchiladas, fresh and hot off the stove. In fact, HelloFresh's latest line of meals are ready in less than 15 minutes. Meals like their falafel power bowls or their seared steak and potatoes with Bernays sauce. There's also some delicious personal faves of mine like the BBQ baby back ribs and the chocolate chip brownies. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious. And with over 35 weekly recipes, they've got the options that'll help you achieve any goal that you've set for yourself. Calorie smart, carb smart, one box has all the meats. Another box is perfect for families with kids. I mean, even customizing the meal is easy. If you want to swap proteins or sides, you can do that. You can add a protein to a veggie dish. In short, if you've got New Year's goals or you just want a bunch of free lunches without having to put on pants, link is in the description. HelloFresh.com with the code FOODTHEORY21 at checkout. That's HelloFresh.com with the code F-O-O-D-T-H-E-O-R-Y-21 at checkout. As always, my friends, remember, it's just a theory. A food theory. Bon appetit.